Though it appears to be a calm day throughout Northern California, it may be a different scene tomorrow. This is a live look from left to right, Modesto, Fairfield, and the Sierra, all three counties that could lose power if PG&E decides to pull the plug this week. More than a half million customers are wondering today about whether they will have power tomorrow. Thanks so much for joining us this afternoon. I'm Dina Kupfer. That is our top story today, starting our fire watch coverage. We do want to go over to Jordan Segundo in the Weather Center with what we can expect. Strong winds, we know for sure. That's right, Dina. We are anticipating winds to really pick up late tonight into early Wednesday morning. Right now, wind speeds all on, on the calm side under about 10 miles per hour. But check this out. As we wake up tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock, we'll see winds close to that 20 mile per hour range here sustained throughout the valley. And then heading throughout the morning, we're going to continue to see winds actually picking up. We could see gusts in some areas close to about 40 to 50 miles per hour. And this wind event, again, lasts all day on Wednesday and through Thursday as well. So so we will see some very strong gusts. So a wind advisory will be in place. We could see down trees, of course, power outages, and of course, it'll make driving a bit difficult, especially for those high-profile vehicles. Now, with winds coming in from that northerly direction, it's also bringing our humidity down very low. We'll see uh, likely numbers in the 20% range. So that combined together with the very strong gusts gives us extreme fire weather throughout the area starting tomorrow all the way through Thursday. Coming up, we'll continue to track the very breezy winds and we'll also talk about some cooler temperatures on the board. Dina? All right, yeah, certainly can't let our guard down yet. It is only October. Thank you so much, Jordan. Well, with that low humidity and the forecast for strong winds, PG&E is now warning about yet another public safety power shutoff as a possibility, and this could impact nearly 30 counties in Northern California. Dan Mitchinson is at Cal OES's headquarters at Mather with more. Well, a power cut of this magnitude is unprecedented for PG&E, and if it happens, it will affect 600,000 customers across northern and central California. PG&E and state officials are monitoring the weather conditions here, and weather permitting, the power shutoff could happen as early as tomorrow morning. This is an unprecedented event for our company. That's why it's very, very important that we're working very closely with state, county, and local officials. That's why we're here at OES today. It's really important that all of our customers understand that this is for public safety, and we want them to have a plan and be prepared just as PG&E is prepared. Power can be turned off quickly, but it does take time to turn it back on. Now we have to patrol and inspect every mile of line that we're going to be shutting down to ensure that there's no damage from the wind. If there is damage, then we'll have to repair that damage. We have to do this before we can re-energize any of the lines. The lines will come back in phases, but we need people to be prepared for 24 to 48 hours of the power being out once that event has ended. So if you need to prepare, here are some things to think about. Make sure you have updated contact information. Get cash from the ATM. Also keep hard copies of any important documents close at hand. Restock emergency supplies, flashlights, also batteries, and make sure that you have a plan for family members, especially the elderly and young. And remember, as inconvenient as this may seem, PG&E says it is doing this as a precaution to avoid the possibility of starting any unwanted fires. We'll keep you updated on this and, of course, have more coming up at 4 and 5 this afternoon. Back to you. Dan, thank you. The California Office of Emergency Services also sent out a tweet saying that it has activated the state's operations center to provide assistance in support of any power shutoffs throughout California. And we do want to give you one more look at the counties. PG&E is keeping a very close eye on for the next several days. That includes several local counties close to Sacramento. So that includes Amador, Calaveras, El Dorado, Nevada, Placer, San Joaquin, Solano to the west, Tuolumne, and Yolo counties. We will, of course, be updating our website and our social media pages for the next few days.